Drug-coated balloons, or DCBs, can be used to treat arterial lesions through mechanical balloon dilation. During treatment, DCBs deliver a small dose of anti-proliferative drug to the arterial wall to help prevent restenosis. The Stellarex DCB is designed to treat peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, using a proprietary coating technology to produce a low-dose DCB with exemplary clinical performance. The Stellarex drug coating, called Enduracote technology, is a hybrid mix of amorphous and crystalline paclitaxel, an anti-proliferative drug combined with the excipient polyethylene glycol, PEG. Amorphous paclitaxel is durable and cohesive. However, preclinical studies show it does not stay resident in the vessel at therapeutic levels as long as crystalline paclitaxel. Crystalline paclitaxel allows the formation of drug depots to aid sustained release, keeping the drug resident in the vessel at therapeutic levels for at least 28 days, the critical restenotic window in preclinical studies. Stellarex blends amorphous and crystalline paclitaxel to help prevent the proliferation of smooth muscle cells throughout the restenotic window. In DCB design, excipients can help to maximize drug adherence to the balloon during transit and drug release to the tissue upon inflation. Stellarex is designed with the distinct excipient, polyethylene glycol, or PEG. PEG is a water-soluble hydrophilic polymer with a large molecular weight and features important mechanical properties like adhesion, elasticity, and elongation that make the coating highly adaptable to flexion, torque, elongation, and compression, resulting in high durability during handling, tracking, and inflation. Once PEG is hydrated, it swells and starts to separate paclitaxel molecules, increasing the bioactive surface area. PEG has shown a high affinity to and forms ionic bonds with hydroxyl apatite, the primary component of calcified atherosclerotic lesions to limit drug washout in the presence of calcium. Other water-soluble excipients, such as urea, don't exhibit the same adhesive and elongating properties as PEG and dissolve quickly due to their small molecular weight, leaving paclitaxel exposed. Emulsifying excipients, such as polysorbate, help water-insoluble materials, like paclitaxel, dissolve in water. Due to its large molecular weight, PEG dissolves relatively slowly, protecting paclitaxel and helping to ensure a therapeutic dose reaches the lesion. Predominantly amorphous coatings can offer high durability when unhydrated, but when combined with an emulsifying excipient, the paclitaxel will dissolve quickly in blood. Research also shows a coating comprised of mostly crystalline paclitaxel may be less durable and more susceptible to flaking. The combination of a small hydrophilic excipient, like urea, with predominantly crystalline paclitaxel may cause more paclitaxel to flake off due to the excipient's rapid dissolution. Due to the hybrid coating mix of amorphous and crystalline paclitaxel and the mechanical properties of the excipient PEG, the Stellarex Enduracote technology has been shown to be very stable during handling, transit, and inflation. The same research shows minimal amounts of paclitaxel flaking off and traveling distally. DCBs are intended to restore vessel patency while helping to prevent restenosis. 
Percutaneous transluminal angioplasty, or PTA, uses uncoated balloons for peripheral arterial disease treatment. A preclinical study showed a higher rate of restenosis 28 days after PTA balloon treatment compared to DCBs. In addition, Stellarec showed a marked reduction of neointima hyperplasia measured by a reduced percent diameter stenosis compared to PTA. Therefore, with a low dose of only 2 micrograms per millimeter squared, Stellarex provides a more consistent treatment effect. DCB performance is built on a critical balance of multiple factors that include the right coding morphology, the right excipient, and an optimal drug dose. The Stellarex DCB carefully balances these critical factors and has been demonstrated as safe and effective in multiple trials with independent assessment and adjudication of outcomes, including patency. In the first Stellarex randomized controlled trial, called Illuminate EU-RCT, the Stellarex primary patency was 89% at 365 days, as independently assessed and adjudicated, the highest rate reported amongst competitive DCB-RCTs. The Illuminate EU-RCT trial achieved these results while having similar patient and lesion characteristics to both the IMPACT SFA trial and the Lutonix Levant II trial. In the Stellarex Illuminate Pivotal study, more complex patients were evaluated compared to the other randomized controlled trials, including 43.9% of patients reported to have severely calcified lesions, as well as more patients with diabetes, renal insufficiency, and clinical obesity. Even in a complex patient population with more comorbidities and challenging lesions, the primary patency rate at 365 days for Illuminate Pivotal was high at 82.3%. Stellarex has proven to be a safe treatment therapy for common to complex patients, with low clinically driven target lesion revascularization rates in both Stellarex RCTs. The Stellarex drug-coated angioplasty balloon balances the right coding form, excipient, and optimal drug dose, leading to top-tier clinical outcomes in common to complex patients.